Hare Krishna. The love that leads us to evil is evil masquerading as love. Love is a word that is used by different people to mean different things. And sometimes, say for example, some people uh, are in a secret bond of marriage. But then they say that I'm in love with someone else and then they have some kind of illicit relationship with the other person. And they call it love. But is it really love? Love, the idea that love can exist outside of sacrifice, that the, the idea that personal indulgence, we can label it as love, that is actually an abuse of the word love. The love uh, that leads us to evil. Evil means activities that are immoral, that are, that are hurtful for others, that are hurtful for ourselves, that are spiritually destructive. Such activities, if we do them in the name of love, then that is actually not love. That is evil masquerading as love. What that means is that for each one of us, uh, we need to know that love in its authentic sense will uplift us. It will make us more responsible. It will make us more committed. It will make us more. It will basically love brings out the best within us. But when uh, something that looks like love, but it is largely lust, then it drags us down. And Krishna talks about how this, uh, this self-centered desire, this evil desire can be our greatest enemy in the world. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that Avrutam Jnana Metena that this desire covers our knowledge and it prevents us uh, from understanding the real nature of this enemy, of its actions, of what its consequences will be. That's 339 and 337 states that Kamesha Kro Desha Rajoguna Samud Bhavaha Mahashano Mahapapma Vidhya Namihavairinam. That is his Mahashano Mahapapma. This is uh, all devouring sinful enemy of the world, Krishna says. So sometimes in espionage or in a war, sometimes some enemy comes dressed as a friend. And if the the other side is not very discerning, they may trust that friend, that person as a friend, and then that friend will backstab the person at the right time when they are lowered the guard. Similarly, lust comes to us appearing as a friend and it can actually seem like love but what happens is it is not love it is evil so we need to recognize the enemy so what we have to look at is not just the attraction that we feel for the other person but the course of ac action that that attraction leads us to to the extent we consider what kind of actions that we are being led to by a particular emotion to that extent we will be able to process that emotion in a way that is intelligent and uplifting thus we can stay protected and we can be uplifted the best love is the love that leads us to krishna that is actually not even that is actually krishna mass man manifesting as that love as the bhakti, Krishna manifesting his personal mercy, which is non different from him, to lift us up toward him. And that is the highest love. When that love buffers and protects our heart and guides our head, then we will be able to see through evil masquerading as love and reject its advances. Thank you. Hare Krishna.